Hello and welcome to another video walk around by myself, Parker, and today we're going to be looking at a 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. This is a two-door, five-passenger, four-by-four four in Anvil Gray. Under the hood, you'll find a 3.6-liter Pentastar engine, and you'll be riding on top of 17-inch alloy wheels. Now, this Wrangler has been heavily upgraded with Atlas bumpers, spotlights, and a Smittybilt winch to give you full off-road capability. Now let's take a little bit of a closer look at some of these upgrades. Here we go. Now we're going to check out all of the upgrades that this Wrangler has on it. There are so many. Alright, so first of all, we're going to look at our fender flares. These are some bushwhacker fender flares that are going to allow our wheels to articulate when we have that sway bar disconnected, when we're crawling and getting over whatever we might need to get over. Lots of articulation room in that one. We have the side skirts as well. It's not going to be any, any need to worry about uh, crashing up our, our body. This is some nice steel work right here. It's going to protect us. Then we'll get to the front where the meat of these upgrades have been made. Here we have our front end. This is the Atlas front end with, we have our Smitty built winch as well. And then we have our two tweet lights in the front and then two right there as well. This thing pumps out some, some lights like nobody's business. And then we have, we have our, our mean grill right there. Plus we've got our upgraded uh, headlights as well. Just over the top we have uh, tweet lights on that and the other side as well. Plus we have our, our big light bar. This thing you're gonna be, nobody's gonna be able to, to think that you're nothing coming through. You got, you got some lights, you're gonna be uh, quite easily findable plus you're gonna be able to find your way no matter what on the other side here we have a nice a stubby antenna I like this this is what I actually have on mine it's nice it's not gonna be a whole lot of whacking and whatnot we have the mule near custom uh, custom lettering here on this side and the other side as well very beautiful the upgrades on this thing are fantastic and it really does make it a truly off-road capable uh, Jeep. This isn't a mall crawler. You're gonna get some real capability out of this one. Now we can head inside. All right, so I have unlocked the vehicle. However, to do that, we'll just have to look at our key right here. There we go, it's fiddling with my pocket. So this is your classic uh, Jeep key. You have your lock and unlock right here, and then we have our remote start as well, pressing twice starts that right up and then our panic button as well. All right, so let's get into the inside. Like most Jeeps, this Wrangler has removable doors, so the only thing on here is our lock buttons. And then we have our nice detailing on our seats as well, plus we have the raise and lower function on our seat, and then we have the, uh, the backdrop uh, for the uh, top portion of our seat. So here we have the axle lock, full-time axle lock, and then we have our sway bar disconnect as well for our off-road. That's why we have those fender flare upgrades so we can have the true articulation when we're crawling. We'll hop in. All right. Here we go. Start it up. It's right in the middle. All right. So first off, nice and easy uh, checking out our instrument panel. Nice sight to see, it's pretty basic and, and what you need. You have 48,072 kilometers on this uh, Wrangler. Lots of life left on it. A uh, Couple things here, on the left hand side, this is how we're gonna check our little mini display. When we're pressing menu, and that'll cycle us through. Go through our digital speedometer and then uh, our fuel efficiency, how much gas we have left, our tire pressure, and then timer and driving. Vehicle information will give us any readouts. We can change from metric and uh, and US Imperial, and we can check out our system and personal settings, and you can kind of change what else you might need. So that was the left-hand side. On the left-hand side as well, so there's a couple more navigation buttons, but then we have our voice recognition, and then we have our uh, hands-free calling pickup. And then on the right-hand side, this is our cruise control. So this will help us uh, pop into cruise control whenever we need to. 
So we'll look at uh, our Uconnect system right here. Classic Uconnect system, really easy to use. So we have our voice uh, command and we have, uh, once again, our wireless, or sorry, hands-free, hands-free phone. Looking through the radio, AM, FM, and satellite. Media denotes anything that we can plug in or load onto it. So we have our hard disk drive. We also have our CD and then auxiliary. Uh, works for the auxiliary cable and Bluetooth connection. So we can look at our audio and change everything right here. And then we can look at our menu as well, changing whatever else we might need to change. And then if we want to load a CD, we'll click our load button. Then we'll open that right up and there's our disk drive. Closing that back. We have uh, we can pop onto this and it'll go into our, our files and check out a bunch of uh, different places we can load. And then we have our USB right here. We can pop that into it. And then right below that, we have our uh, auxiliary as well. And uh, because our windows, or our doors do come off um, in order to, to keep uh, wiring to a minimum, we do have our window buttons right here in the center console. It's funny when people pop into a Wrangler for the first time and they're, they're trying to fiddle on, on doors, trying to figure out where the window buttons is, right in the middle. Below that, we have a really simple to use uh, climate system. All it is is three dials. That's your blower, that's your heat, and that's your function right there. Below that, we have um, our mirror adjusters, plus we have our heated seats. Well, get that back in focus. We have our heated seats, and then we have our traction control. We can turn that off. We have downhill assist as well, plus we have our passenger side, and then we have a, a DC plug-in. Now, this is a 12-volt uh, plug-in right there. Sorry, not a 12 volt, 115 volt. And that's right below. Let's see if we can get that view. There it is. So this is our, our plug in right here. A little bit difficult to see. Now we got it right there. 115 volt plug in. Pressing that button will allow us to plug in right there. No problem. All right. Now if we can uh, look a little bit further, because we do have a hard top, we can take that off, we can take our doors off. If we have anything in the vehicle we want to keep secure, this is a locking cubby hole. Plus our center console is also locking as well. So it gives us two different spots that we can uh, temporarily store things in if we're going to be taking our top off and, and hanging out. So here's where our, our lighting upgrades have settled. So here we have... Uh, our no go button and then we have our our go button that's just kind of a general output for our lights and then uh, we have our our little pod lights in the front start and then we have our uh, bumper light bar the bottom our top light bar starts that right up and then we have our rear lights in the back that will activate so nice and easy out of the way but super simple to utilize Now why don't we head back and take a look at cargo. All right, so here we are looking at the back of our Wrangler. A uh, few things, lots to look at actually. This is a truly off-road capable vehicle. We have our aftermarket Atlas bumper that has, you can see one jerry can on the left-hand side, another on the right, and there's also these nice red knuckles to help us uh, out when we get stuck. So in order to uh, open up our trunk, We'll open this right up and this is this gets us access to our jerry cans right there and then opening up once more it's just the regular tailgate open this up and this comes with an an array of uh of uh, smitty built um i guess tactical pouches that are uh, are on the back side and then two for the seats as well so we'll open up and so this is the back of the uh the Wrangler, here we have the, um, the bumper that's just right here and then uh, just in the back, we got some space back here, enough to fit whatever you might need, not a whole lot of space, but it turns into quite a bit. We have our, our all weather subwoofer right there as well, it gives us massive sound. So in order to pop these seats down, we'll just fold it. That gives us some space to maybe pile some stuff over top. And if we need to take them out or maybe need a little more space, this unlocks the seats and all we have to do is push it up. And now we have uh, much more space than we had initially. So there we go. Room for whatever you might need to pop back there. 
So there we have another 12 volt DC plug-in as well in the back. Uh, and really easy to pop back down. We'll just bring it down like that. It's not locked quite yet, but if we open or pull up on this, on this loop there, now our seat's locked back into place. It definitely gives us some options for uh, for some storage space, and underneath here, we have uh, some room for uh, taking the hard top off, taking the doors off. Everything's labeled. Really, uh, everything you might need to pop in there. Yeah. So there we go. I'll lock this right back up. And then two hard points as well if we need to secure something back here. So it's a, it's a little bit of a, a journey to get into it, but, but that's the fun thing about these Wranglers is the journey. That's the, uh, the best part. So we'll close it right up. There we go. Now we're closed right shut, and there's the back of our Wrangler. Let's take a last look at our 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Now while this is a true off-road beast, there are some creature comforts that are gonna give you a great time. There's the heated seats, Uconnect system, and an Alpine surround sound system. But there's a whole lot more I didn't get a chance to show you, so come on in and take a fur test drive or here at Toe Northwest Edmonton in the corner of 137th Avenue, St. Albert Trail. Thank you again for watching this walk around video. My name is Parker, and until we see you, drive safe.